welcome to another closet declutter. I just did one of these fairly recently on my channel, but what happens a lot when I go to do a declutter is I find I need to do another one very quickly because I wasn't quite ruthless enough the first time. And that's exactly what happened here with my wardrobe. I have found lately there are so many things that I'm just not gravitating towards. You also might notice that this isn't my regular closet. This is the guest closet. The baby's napping in our room, so I didn't want to disturb him. And also, also, I told my husband I was doing this video, and he decluttered his closet too. So I'll show you everything that he got rid of quickly at the very end. All right, I'm in my comfy cozies. I'm ready to go. Let's finally get to decluttering, and let's start with the opposite end of the closet where my dresses are held. Okay, found actually a lot in that category. So let's start with the first one here. This is just a white beach cover up and you would think living in Cancun that I would wear this all the time. And I have, I have gotten some use out of it, but to be honest, every time I put this on, I feel a little uncomfortable because I only have black bathing suits and this is very see-through. So I know it's a bathing suit, I know that I'm covered, but for me, I just still don't feel comfortable in it. So I find if I do put this on, it's like begrudgingly. And another thing is I have found a suitable alternative, let me grab that. So this dress is so versatile and I actually found that I have been wearing it instead as a beach cover-up. I just tie up the front and kind of leave it open and flowy or just wear it as a regular dress and I much prefer this dress as opposed to this white t-shirt for the beach. So if I'm not going to wear this where it's 30 degrees and sunny all day, I think I can let it go but of course I'm going to be keeping this black one. Okay and next up kind of is shocking to me. So I think I'm going to say goodbye to this really gorgeous Kate Spade dress. It's a navy blue and it has like some little flower details. I have had this for years and years and I absolutely love this dress. I think it's stunning. But there are two issues with this dress. One big one and one small one. Number one, it doesn't fit me anymore. My body has changed a lot since having a baby and this is just way too big and there's no way that I could see to make it smaller. It even has like this ruched back that should theoretically make it, you know, much tighter, but it doesn't look good looser. I don't find it flattering on me whatsoever anymore and because of that I have not been wearing it. And the second thing is extremely minor, but it's very close to <laughs> this perfect black dress that I have. Like it's a very similar sort of style pattern, that sort of thing. So I don't necessarily feel the need to keep both. And if I was going to part with one, it absolutely is going to be this one. The black one is a wrap dress so I can adjust it to my ever changing size. This one, just not flattering on me anymore, so I am saying goodbye to it today. And thirdly, in the dress category, I have this like green t-shirt dress that I bought for pregnancy. And I didn't pack it away with the rest of my pregnancy stuff because it's just so easy and comfortable to wear, but it is time. It's not getting decluttered, it's just going with the rest of my pregnancy items. It needs to go because I keep wearing it and I keep forgetting that I cannot breastfeed in it. So it is like completely unusable to me and I just get so frustrated every time I forget and I put this on. So this one has to go away even though it is the, just the most comfortable, easy thing to wear in the entire world, it's gotta go. All right, so that's three for my dress collection. And the next thing actually in my closet is outerwear. Okay, so I have hung up my outerwear lately and the only pieces that I have here are like my summer jacket and my spring jacket. And to be honest, I have never worn this summer jacket here in Mexico, not once. But I'm not gonna get rid of this one because it's really valuable back home in Canada. So I'm just going to pack that one away and then this rain jacket, I actually don't wear that frequently either. So I think instead of having it hanging up, I'm just going to pack it up. It's a packable rain jacket into just a tiny little pouch and stick it in one of my drawers. So that summer jacket, not necessarily a declutter, but packing away for home. And this one just moving to a different location. All right, let's get into the meat and potatoes of my wardrobe now and go over all my tops. Okay, so I have two tops to say goodbye to today, 
and I have nothing against these tops. They are exceptional quality. They are Lululemon. They are so good, and I actually wore them from time to time, but I am cutting out an entire category of my minimalist wardrobe, and that is long sleeve shirts. I find I gravitate way more towards a t-shirt or a sweater and this entire category was just not getting used enough so I think I'm ready to say goodbye to it entirely. Now these items are actually in really good condition because I haven't worn them too too much so I think I'm going to try to pass these along to a family member who will absolutely love and appreciate them. Okay and the next basics are here on these shelves. Let's start down here and work our way up. Okay, so first shelf done. This is where I hold basically all my pants. And to be honest, so many of them don't fit. I am willing to part with something like a dress, this Kate Spade dress that didn't fit because it's not part of like the super meat and potatoes of my minimalist wardrobe. These pants are, and I just don't have the heart to declutter them yet, even though they're all like way too big. What I do have to declutter right now is this pair of shorts. These were specifically for pregnancy. My friend gifted these to me and wow, they really last me. Actually, they were the only thing, the only short <laughs> item that lasts me up until the very end of my pregnancy. I don't know why they're still floating around in my closet. They are far too big for me now. They do not fit. And these two will get packed away with my pregnancy items along with that little green dress. So yeah, honestly, just about my Lululemon pants are the only things that fit because they're a little bit more cinching, but I just, I just can't get rid of all of this stuff right now. I've never had my size change this much on me. And yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It's actually really hard. Yeah, it sucks. Anyways, I'll just leave it at that. And let's head now to this next shelf, this middle portion. This has my loungewear right over here. And then these are what I call my wardrobe extenders. I have three monochromatic sets and I use either the set itself as a whole outfit, of course, or just one of those pieces to really extend the life of my pretty plain, boring wardrobe. These are absolutely staples in my minimalist wardrobe. And yeah, just looking at these pieces, there's nothing to declutter here. Really happy with my loungewear and my wardrobe extenders. And then moving up to the final shelf, these are just my two pairs of pajamas. They're not super necessary in my wardrobe. I could definitely get away with just the loungewear that I have, but they were actually both gifts. And yeah, I just, I do like having some fun pajamas. They're really, really sweet. So nothing to declutter from this top shelf. And let's move next to, I think an area that I'm going to do a lot of decluttering. And that is my undergarments and bathing suit drawer. Now, of course, I'm not gonna be doing that on camera, so let's just do some movie magic and have a lot more to declutter in just a second. All right, 12 items from this top undergarment drawer that we're saying goodbye to. There are just some socks, bras, and underwear that have seen better days and need to go, but in the case of my sports bras, I just had way too many. I have five I think and I really only need two just a light and a dark so I can part with a bunch of those so that's it for the top drawer let's move now to the second which houses accessories bags and my jewelry okay to be honest as a new mom I am not wearing these bags frequently at all frequently <laughs> I haven't worn them once in like seven, eight months. Am I going to say goodbye to them though? No, because I know that this is for a season. I know that there are things that I am just not going to be using for a season, but I will come back to. I'm tempted to just, you know, declutter everything that's not mom proof, but I know that I'm going to appreciate having those purses down the road. So not going to say goodbye to those. And actually I'm not gonna say goodbye to anything. All my bags, my wallets, my sunglasses, my jewelry, there's nothing to declutter in there. So that means there's only one section of the closet left to declutter. Let's see if there's any shoes to get rid of. Okay. <laughs> Let's start first with sandals, kind of embarrassed. These ones need to go, okay, don't look too quickly. 
because I have replaced them already. Now, why did I not just get rid of these right away? I like to break a shoe in before I say goodbye to the old ones. These ones don't have any tread anymore and they're getting a little unsafe, so I did go ahead and replace them. These ones have been sufficiently broken in so I can say goodbye to those old disgusting sandals. All right, and finally, let's do my runners and sneakers. Okay, um, I'm actually going to declutter two. So I've actually condensed all of my shoes over to this little corner right here, which is great. And I have these two that I am saying goodbye to for now. Similarly to that summer jacket, I am just not wearing either of these at all here in Cancun. 95% of the time, I'm wearing those white sandals. 3% of the time, I'm wearing my white running shoes. And then about a percent each, I'm wearing my like little dressed up heels. So I am actually going to say, you know, goodbye to these ones for now. They're getting packed back for Canada. These are my Nike sneakers. Yes, they are looking worse for wear, but I just don't have the heart to declutter them fully entirely yet. And then I have my black, you know, sneakers as well. These are my outdoor ones and they're just a little bit more robust. Definitely don't need them here because the gym I go to is actually in our complex. So I don't need an outdoor pair of shoes. And that's it. That is the entire closet declutter. So my friends, I just counted how many items we decluttered and it was 22. And that's not to mention my husband's declutter pile. So we have one, two, three, four, six shirts from him and two pairs of shoes. That's a total of 30 items between the two of us. That was a way bigger declutter than I anticipated. So let this serve as a reminder to you, even if you recently went through your stuff, it's okay to go ahead and do another declutter kind of back to back. All right, but before we go, let's recap what I am getting rid of quickly, again, for the intention behind why I am letting these items go, because maybe some of these considerations will be the same when you go to declutter. So let's see. We have, ah uh, yes, my white beach cover up, which just makes me feel uncomfortable. We have ugh, a dress, a dress that is far too large for me and also too small in some weird way. It's like too small across the chest and too large at the waist. So that one just is not flattering on me and does not fit. These are two shirts that are in great condition, wonderful shirts, but I don't need them in my closet anymore. I've decided that I don't wear long sleeves that much, which is probably why these are in such good condition, and they can go to someone who will love them a lot more than I do. This is getting packed away. It's almost too comfortable. I wear it too often, and like I said, it's just not something that I can use right now at this phase in my life. And then I have, ah uh, yes, this which I classify as my summer jacket and it is just not usable here in Cancun so that is getting packed for home. And then we have my pregnancy shorts, perfect condition but need to head into my little pregnancy capsule wardrobe let's call it. And then all the undergarments that I had as well and finally my three shoes to talk about. My sneakers that I'm not wearing here, I always opt for sandals my outdoor runners, which I'm also not wearing, and finally, I'm gonna be quick because they're absolutely disgusting, my sandals that are completely done, have no tread on them, and are not usable anymore. So that's it, my friends. We said goodbye today to a lot of stuff for a minimalist wardrobe, and I'm just so grateful that I took the time to do this declutter again. My wardrobe, as I'm sure you could have seen throughout the video, is a little bit of a challenge for me right now. Um, I have never really had that be the case. I've never really fluctuated in size too, too much since like, I don't know, grade nine or something like that. And this is the first time where clothes aren't fitting for one reason or another. So suffice it to say, even though there are still some things in here that aren't fitting perfectly, I am much more comfortable with having a few of these items cleared out. So thank you for being here. Thank you for clicking on this video. I really had a good time declaring my wardrobe and I hope you enjoyed following along with me. If you did happen to like this video, then feel free to give it a like. If you like me, if you like the content that I'm producing on this channel in general, then definitely consider subscribing. It would truly mean the world to me. All right, everyone, well, just thank you so much for being here and I really hope to catch you in my next minimalism video. Bye for now, everyone. Bye.